ओके इन अस्टांगा इट इज नोन एज ऊर्ध धनुरासना वी कॉल इट अपवर्ड बोपोस ओके सो देर आर सम पॉइंट्स टू हाउ यू कैन फॉलो इजिली ऊर्ध धनुरासना ओके सो कैन एन वन कम फ्रंट पोज गुड इन बैक बैंड लेट्स सी पोज लाइड ऑन योर मैच so it should be first position for your urdha dhanurasana okay so what you have to do in the beginning bend your both leg at the knee yes and open your feet like hip distance apart okay and you can take your heel closer to the buttocks okay second thing is that you can just adjust your hand under your shoulder and finger should be pointing towards your buttocks so this should be first position of your urdha dhanurasana okay so what should be that heels close to the buttocks open your legs according to hip distance apart your palm should be under to your shoulder and finger should be pointing towards the buttocks it should be the first position of your urdha dhanurasana second thing is that what you have to do without disturbing your feet and your palm it should be remain as it is now okay without disturbing your feet and your palm what you have to do you have to lift the buttocks up only buttocks yes it should be the first position so, okay while you are lifting yourself up lift the buttocks up second thing is that you have to lift the chest up yes and third lift your head all the way up what first buttocks second chest and at the end head so don't lift your head in the beginning that the step by step you have to lift your buttocks up first then lift your chest and then at the end you have in the final position what you have to do your shoulder your elbow and your wrist it should be in line so you have to push your chest towards the front side towards me yes to make okay to come down to make this thing in a line okay rolling rolling go 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 so your wrist your elbow and your shoulder it should be in line in the final position so what you have to do while you are in the position So you have to always try to press your chest towards the front side, okay, towards the front of the mat. Second thing is that try to straight the knee from there, okay. Don't bend your knee. So when you push your chest towards the front side, so you will feel your knee is getting straight, okay. So there are the benefits of Urdhva Dhanurasana also. You will feel your thighs, hamstring. You will get a nice stretch on your thighs, okay. So what you have to do, try to straight the knee and push your chest towards the back side completely. Okay, and the end, your palm should be flat on the mat. Your wrist, elbow, and shoulder should be in a line. Your neck, your head. Okay, your head should be between your both the hand. Okay, and all the time try to press yourself towards the front side. Okay, and then try to straight the knee. So this is Urdhva Dhanurasana. So we have some positions, some drills how you can do easily perform Urdhva Dhanurasana. We have some preparation for the positions. Let's talk about them. Then you will feel it is easy to perform Urdhva Dhanurasana. okay so like this is the final position but it is intense position as well as okay for the beginner it is not possible to perform this position in the first time so we have some drills and we have some poses where we can follow those drills and then it is easy to perform urdha dhanurasana after that okay so first position what is that okay this is the base on what you are doing basically what we are doing here we are just doing the back bend okay so we need the warm up for our back also second thing is that we are stretching our thighs so we need some warm up for thighs as well as okay third thing what we are doing we are just going to stretch our shoulders as well as okay so we want to stretch our shoulder as well so we are just working with the three things first the shoulder second our back and third our thigh okay so we have three different different types of exercises first we have to follow those things then it is easy to perform urdha dhanurasana okay